Good evening. Time for some Vanderama League action. And it's relegation. Barrow and Hartlepool. Level on point with Sully Hull Moors who are who won last night. So it's virtually goal difference that separates Hartlepool and Barrow from being overtaken from Sully Hull Moors. The teams for Barrow. In goal is Arnold, 25 is Cook, 6 Diari, 14 is Hull, 11 Buis, I think that's his name, 8 McDonald, 4 is, is K James, 22 McComer, 17 Waterstone, 24 is L James and 26 is Walters. One play on the subs bench for Barrow is striking legend. Grant Holt of Norwich City, of course, and many other teams scored a lot of goals against Gillingham. For Hartley Paul, in goal is Loach, two is Magni, five is Harrison, 23 is Ling, three is Adams, 24 Newton, four Featherston, 18 Hawkins, 14 Woods, nine Cassidy, 11 Oates, and the referee is Matt. Dunoe, or we'll just call him Matt D, the referee. And they should be kicking off right about now. Oh, it's lovely down at Hawker Street. Nice rain. Of course, Sully, Sully Hill Moors beat Bromley 2 0. points it means tonight that if Hartlepool were to lose they would drop in <laughs> so if Hartlepool lose they drop into the relegation zone and I don't think Hartlepool United want double relegation it is yeah it's Barrow who are going to kick off And Harley Paul have the ball. Long kick. Heads up. And it looks like it's Barrow gonna try to attack. And Harley Paul trying to kick it down the pitch. But he goes out for a throw into Harley Paul United. Of course, Barrow where were booted out of the Football League in 1972 placed by now defunct Hereford United and Hartlepool United were elected 11 times and kept their Football League status of course over the last few seasons it's been a struggle to stay in but their luck ran out last season coming down with Leighton Orient and here go Hartlepool Booting up the pitch. I'm not sure. I think it's silver. The away kits for um, Hartlepool. And it looks like Hartlepool on the attack. That was a comfortable save. Stealth for play, YT says, go Barrow. Well, if Barrow do win tonight, then Hartlepool drop into the bottom four. And what Hartlepool fans are probably dreading. There'll be double relegation. There are supposedly our owners ready to take over Hartlepool in dire straits. They do need someone to buy the club out. Here comes Harrison. Plays a long ball to the middle, but that finds a Barrow head. And Barrow now using their heads. And they'll go for a throw in. Well, 
Will Grant Holt come on for Barrow? And of course, Adrian Pennock was the form, was the manager of Gillingham. And they were in the relegation zone in October. But he's just about keeping Barrow above water. And the cross comes in. Is there going to be a goal here? That's straight to the arms of Arnold. Is Arnold going to throw it out? I don't think so. Yeah, Hartley Paul wearing silver away shirts. Barrow in the home shirts of white and blue sleeves and blue shorts and white stockings and again you come height ball down the middle could be a good bowl now to play on the right they've he's found the man good cross put in hits the back of the barrow player but it's back with Hartley pool and now will go all the way back to the Hartley pool goalkeeper <laughs> Could be a chance here. Oh, could be a good chance here for Barrow. He's outside the area. King DJ plays the ball back. Now the ball comes in the area, and that is straight into the arms of Loach. Ah, this is what Wednesday nights are about. Watching football in Barrow and Furnace, and it is raining up there. Long kick from Loach. Right, will anyone get through? I think Arnold sort of has it. And he goes out for throwing. Does it to Barrow? Did that come off the Hartley Paul player? And Matthew Bates gets to be the caretaker manager of Hartley Paul United for a second time this season. And Hartlepool have got the ball, but they're not making any progress. And is that a free kick to Hartlepool? Well, it's Waterstone that make the challenge. Free kick it is. Out on the right. Pretty f well, it's good for a good left cross, or should I say right cross, right footed. Harrison to put a good cross in. No, Woods is going to take it. He's going to come in from the right, right footed, near post to the left. And should be a flying header from... Well, there was a header, but that was from a barrow defender. A long ball comes in. Nearly gets somebody in the nether regions. And Barrow lose the ball, but Barrow clear it. I don't think Barrow are going to counter here because it's going to go out and harm or very harmless for a Hartley Paul throw in. And Harrison will take this throw in. No towels. There's that long throw. And the ball comes to Barrow and there will be a throw into Barrow just near the line out long throw well, not the longest of throw from Cameron and Cameron loses it I think they've won another throw in Can he get the cross in? Or he's trying to get past a few players and he and he fails miserably. And can what can Hartley Paul do here? That'll be a foul. And the Hartley Paul player can't believe it. his arms are out. Ooh, we just shove him over. Hmm. 
Mm, he flattened the RE. Long ball comes in. And that's going to go out for a goal kick to Hartlepool. There was no way James was getting to that ball. He's no U. He's no U.S. Bolt. One. Th we have a thumbs up, and we have three in the stream. Luke now take the goal kick. Strikes it long. Who's going to get there first? A barrow kick. And that will probably go out for a throw. No, it's kept in. And the ball's now with Hartley pulling in their own half. A long ball played down the right. And that's headed out for a throw in. I oh, know we're going to get goals in this game. And of course, Mason United are at home to Macclesfield Town. Featherston, no, headed away, and that'll be a throw in. To Hartlepool United, just by the GF Hornby and Co. Advertising hoarding. Now switching play over the right to Harrison. Can oh, and Harrison can't find his man, but they've still got the ball. It's still with Harrison. And it's another poor bowling. I think Barrow got to try and clear their lines a bit better. As we have a dodgy ball back to Loach. Well, Hartley Paul don't want to lose tonight. A defeat does put them into the relegation zone. And that should fall for Barrow. And that could be the ball out of the ground. Thirty-one eight young for manager. Graham Taylor and Eddie Howe were much younger when they took their roles as football league managers. Ball comes in from the right. Go on, shoot from outside the area. Oh, come on, Hawkins. Oh, he lost it. Could have been a good could have been a good try. There's plenty of space in the midfield area for Hartlepool to exploit. Ball over the top. Shoot! Cassidy! Oh, good save from Arnold. To his right, and that's going to be a corner to Hartlepool. There's a ball over the top. Puts it across. Good ball, that goal, but there was Arnold. Just to make a clinical save just at the right time to get down to his right. Reese former Barnsley player. That was given as a goal kick, but I think that definitely was saved by Arnold. And Hartlepool have won the ball back. Heads up. Oh, could be a chance for Barron. That could be a free kick. Luke James gets nothing. I thought he was fouled. Ball over the top again from Hartlepool. Uh, Cassidy can only win a throw in. Oh, oh, I think that was a foul. Harrison definitely brought Luke James down. That should have been a free kick to Barrow. Was a corner now from the right for Hartley Paul United. Still nil nil after 12 minutes. The ball's put in some of the years to get the end of it. And it's cleared. 
And what can Barrow do? Sucker punch? Well, not like that they won't. But they've still got it. Number 17. Waterstone. Hole plays it back. Rokoba finds a Hartley Paul play in a Hartley Paul. Have a chance, maybe. The break. And Hartley Paul have lost it. And it's played all the way back to Arnold. Arnold boots it up the pitch. And now it's back with Barrow in their own half. A lot of heavy football bound being played. It was quite nicely flowing. And it's kicked up the pitch by Loach, but that finds a Barrow play. Can Barrow make something happen? Referee not going to give a free kick. Waterstone. Hole now on the ball. Playing it back. McComa plays it all the way back, switching sides to the right. And that goes out for a throw into Barrow on the right. When the corner comes in, it's the Hartley pull up a tune the tee. Fair play to Kinsley James at some good defending, got in the way, got a good block. And here come Barrow now. No, that's a poor ball. Oates. And he finds a Barrow player. And that comes to nothing. Back to Loach. And Loach blasts it up the pitch. And now it's back with Barrow on their left side. Macoma. Tries to put a cross in, and that's going to go out for a goal kick. Nothing in that. Hit the thumbs up. And boo to whoever hit... Boo to whoever gave me a thumbs down. Shame on you. I know who you are. <laughs> Well, a, well, A.D. Penick will certainly not want to get relegated with Barrow as Loach boots it up the pitch. Oh, it could be a good chance here for Barrow. Oh, he needs some support. But he wins the corner. Oh, that was a good challenge by Harris on Luke James. Well, it's Barrow's first corner of the game, which McDonald and number eight will take from the right. Could be a chance here for the Bluebirds to take the lead. In comes the corner. It's it. It's headed away. Got to get it back in there. And Walters loses it. Featherston for Hartley Pole going nowhere. Oh, it's a good bit of play there. Nice football from Hartley Paul. And Colin Newton wins a corner. F well, I thought that was a corner to Hartley Paul. Some lovely team football down at the right. Kaskin, the chairman of Barrow. Forty-six years since Barrow were last in the football league, and they certainly won't be going up this season. Of course, they did get to the playoffs last year. At Hawkins, that was a rotten challenge. Challenge there. Straight from behind. 
free kick to Barrow on the halfway line. Middle of the park. Ball put in there. And that was couldn't find Yara and now Hartley can bring it down. Newton. But McComber decepts, put plays a ball in. Could be a chance here. And it's a goal for Barrow. And I think the Barrow score has hurt his leg. I think Luke James is down. He has scored a goal. Oh, but he is hurt. He's holding his ankle. He's in agony. That's his fifth goal in as many games for the Barrow man. The brilliant pass this from Macoma to find Luke James. Brilliant ball to Luke James. Luke James takes it from the left and hits it into the right side of the net. But is Luke James going to be able to continue? Well, those Barrow fans are happy. And just what Holly Paul didn't need. They go 1 0 down. Brilliant ball from Macoma. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to play through. And it was well taken by James. But he seems all right now. Very good goal. So Barrow, the Bluebirds have taken the lead. It's 1-0 to the Barrow. And McComa placed the ball spot on. Well, it was a decent start for Hartley, but once again comes to nothing. Pretty much the story of Hartley Paul's season. It's been no picnic in the in the national premier. It's been an absolute nightmare. They don't want to join the likes of Stockport, York, and many other teams that have fallen down to the north. Vanderama North League. Harrison going through the middle. Or is he going to try the right side? And they've lost. It could be another chance. Kingsley James. Oh, and he puts it straight into the arms of Loach. Yes, gets caught on the halfway line. Great pass to James on the left. Most United won Maxfield Town nil. Mason looking for a third win on the bounce. Or oh, could be another chance here. He's chasing it down, but Waterstone couldn't get to the ball and Hartley pulled boot the ball far away. Ball now back with Barrow. Barrow coming down that left side. And that'll be a throw in. It was a really good, really bright start from Hartley P United. Looking good on the ball, really attacking. But once again, he's got an old pear shape for the Hartley pull. And it's Barrow looking the more likely now to score the second goal. Ball put in the box. And that's not even cleared properly. And that's been given as a free kick to Hartlepool United. So Hartlepool are now in the relegation zone. So Sully Hill have minus 13 and Hartlepool are on minus 14. Both on 39 points and Barrow, of course, will be on 42 minus 5. 
Oh my god, and Loach puts the ball out for throwing on the halfway line to Barrow. And Andy Pennock looking much more relaxed. As I said, I think, as we all know, the job was far too big for him at Gillingham. Another one of Paul Scally's cheap appointments that didn't work out. That's a free kick to the Barrow. I think Andy Pennock doing the best he can with what he's got at Barrow. Remember Hartley Paul are in absolute dire straits financially. They're absolutely broke. They they are looking for new buyers. There are reports of, and that's come to nothing in the box. Harry Emerson, the score is one nil to the Barrow. Oh, as I said, Hartley Paul, the brighter team they started, very well came out of the blocks, but gave a silly ball away. Good goal from McCorby playing a beautiful ball into the six yard box for Luke James to put in to the left side and that's a heavy ball getting a bit scrappy and now Barrow trying to come down their left side McDonald oh he gets past one but he won't oh he's still got it could be another goal could be another goal oh come on McDonald Donald should have buried it. Ah, uh, McDonald should have buried it into the left side, but he shot straight at the keeper. That was lucky for Hart. That was lucky for Hartley. Paul, he fluffed his shot. And Hartley Paul captain drawing the ball with his shirt. They're looking very vulnerable indeed. Hartley Paul as a dodgy, but all the way back to the goal. But the keeper boots it far and wide. But I think it's going to fall straight back to Barrow. Barrow try the plate straight up there. And Barrow do look a lot better. Ball now going to come in. Waterston goes along Kingsley James but that's got no and Hartley Paul should clear how far up the pitch will they get short pass from Hartley Paul onto their right Lang plays it long but it falls straight to a Barrow player but luckily Hartley Paul win it back Featherston a long ball played up Barrow won it but a header from Hartley Pool 26 minutes played and Hartley Pool played back to Loach he boots it out to his right side Going down that right flank now, Hartley Paul, number 18, can't keep hold of it. And Barrow are going to come away with it. No, oh, Hartley Paul are winning again in their own half. Played short. Down that right side. And that's put out for a throw into Hartley Paul. Ball with Hartley Paul. They need to get something clinical in. Come on, need to get a cross in. And they can't do it. And that'll be a th another throw in the Hartley Paul. On that bright start by Hartley Paul has definitely evaporated. But they got the ball into the final third with a throw in. Can they get a cross in now? Cassidy over kicks it and puts it the other side of the goal and it's a long ball played by Barrow Loach is there he rolls it straight out to the middle 
Now over to the right side, back to the middle, over to the left side. Hawkins plays it out, and that's going to go out for a throw into Barrow. Well, we've had the first goal of the game. Nervous times for Hartlepool United. Barrow will a bit relieved at the moment if they can keep this scoreline. I would say Mr Bates was very pleased when the game started, but now... The disappointment has come and he must feel really disappointed the way they've started again. They've gone behind. A long ball play by Hartley Paul. That will find nobody but Arnold in the Barrow goal. And he'll roll it out to the left. There it goes. Looks like it's going all the way back to Nope. Only as far as the defence. Now Barrow switched flanks. But they've not gone anywhere. A long ball is going to be hoofed up. Headed back by Hartley Paul. Now it's back with Barrow. James trying to get past two players. He can't know. That's a bit of a misplaced pass. But there's another Barrow player covering him. Number 22. Can't go nowhere. Well, like Paul, keep me or Barrow keeping hold of the ball now, passing it around. They're one nil up. And now it's gone all the way back to Arnold. I think Arnold's going to go long up the pitch. He certainly does. First header falls to Barrow, another header by Barrow. Macoma back to hole. Hall plays it through, but that should find the Hartley Paul player. And uh, throw into Hartley Paul. Of course, we got more Vanderama action on Saturday. League One, League Two. And of course, for international football, the England internationals. You just flip over to the JB Claret channel and give him a subscription. <coughs> He'll be doing your Hollands, your Italy friendlies. <coughs> As I have a cough. Well, good turn there by Walters. He's bombing up the pitch. Ball, he puts the ball in. Oh, luckily James can't connect with the header and that flies into the arms of Loach. <coughs> Ooh. I think Gizzy Jones just left it. There was another player at the left at the right post who was in a better position to make it 2 0. And that was a free kick to Barra by the halfway line. No, it wasn't. Further back into the Barra half. Another long ball by Barrow. Lang should deal with that. He does for Hartley Paul. Now be booted down the pitch by Lang, no doubt. Headed back. Middle of the park. Kingsley James. And here comes Macoma. Oh, he's got past one. And he, and he wins a throw in. Thirty minutes to go till half time. And it's the Bluebirds who are leading. It's been given as a goal kick to Loach. A 
another ball coming in could this be another chance no free kick to Hartley Paul there's been some very generous donations been given to Hartley Paul to pay off an £80,000 debt there's also some Scottish football Motherwell versus Rangers Player down for Hartley Paul. So Hartley Paul pretty much on the brink. Ooh, James gave him a little toe poke in the face, and that will avert, especially on a night like this. He will have felt that. Still good, Maidstone United 1, Macclesfield Town 0. This Toes are that will be the third win in a row for the Mighty Stones. Highly Paul having a few drinks, so are the Barrow players. Ah, uh, so still a good goal. Oh, what a brilliant finish from Luke James to make it 1-0 McComb don't look a bad player McComb a good player he played a really good ball into the channel there for James to get to and score the first goal of the game and Scott Harrison is back to his feet he did take a lovely toe poke in the face. It's not been a bad first half. As Loach boots the ball. Another header. Long ball played. Header on. And Hartley Paul, the winner and a half, play a long one down the right. And Casty won't get there, and another bowl will leave the ground. So a new bowl will be needed, I think. That's ball number two that has left the ground. I think they've got a ball boy. They're going to go and collect that bowl. And the rain is still lashing down at Holker Street. Long ball. So taking out some good defending there from Barrow, but the ball's still in. That's nah, pathetic from Hartley Pole. And maybe Barrow could counter attack. Here comes Walterston. He, he's, he now needs to get a good cross in, and that ain't a great cross, but. Oh, could it. Ooh. Lucky for Hartlepool again, not clinical, but it's another chance. Ace a hole, and he fires into the open terracing. Oh, it's good down the right hand side. And uh, Kinsley James lost it. If Barrow were more clinical, Hartley Paul could be three or four down by now. Noim just coming up to eight minutes left of this second half. Oh, that was close. Nearly another bit of bad defending from Hartley Paul. And Loach kicks it down the field, but Barrow win it straight back. Oh, my word. It's not looking good from Hartley Paul. Barrow now, can he get a cross in? Cross in. Mm, nothing happening so far, and he's going down the wrong way. Has to switch play to the left and back to the right side. Now a ball coming in, and still.
still with Bowo. Although Ace of Hold playing the left side now. Don't know why they didn't play to a coma. Down the right would have been a better option. I need to get some crosses in, Bowo. You know, Hartley Paul. Hartley Paul won a free kick. Hartley Paul can't believe their rotten luck this season. Of course, Hartley Paul United were one of the favourites to go straight back up. But, it, but financially, it hasn't been possible. Grant Holt, the Barrow player coach. I know quite a lot about Grant Holt. He's love for scoring against Gillingham. Uh, there'll be a throw in. Which Barrow will go all the way back there. Oh, they're going to play out of defence. Going to go down that right side. And that goes back to Loach in goal. Attendance. Well, I suppose what you're going to get, 1,000. Between 1,000 and 2,000 will be the attendance at Holker Street, a former league ground. And Barrow booted up the pitch. Uh, McComer doesn't find his man. Ball backward, Hartley Pull, but Hartley Pull unable to go forward, going backwards. They are in the relegation zone with this result. Where well, Hartlepool United don't want to be. Lang plays a long ball. That finds nobody. It's cleared very easily. Back with Hartlepool. Harrison. Trying to go down their right side. There you go, Hartley Paul again, trying to go through the middle. That was a nothing, and it's a long ball played now by Barrow. Is that going to reach anybody? It does reach Loach, and he throws it straight back out. And Hartley Paul come down the pitch with Harrison, and Harrison doesn't know. Harrison's going to try the long ball. There's nobody there. And here come maybe a chance now for Barrow. Here come Barrow, it's Walters, Walters, is he going to show, is he going to show, is he going to show? No he doesn't and luckily for Hartlepool that goes back to the goalkeeper. Well he is direct, he's gone but... Ah, I should have taken the shot. Should have taken the shot. Lewis Walters could have had a good goal on loan from Nottingham Forest. <laughs> Four minutes to go to all half time. Two minutes of injury time. And Andy Pennock will be quite relieved going in at half time. Matthew Bates probably doesn't know what to say at half time. It looks like Hartley Paul are pretty much cursed. Throwing taken. Uh, I don't know what that was, but it's going to fall again. Middle of the park for the Barrow. Uh, that was a poor bolt and Hartley Paul now have it. Trying to come down their left side. Now he has to put the bowl in, or oh, that's a poor bowl. But it's sliced out for a corner. The RE not able to clear it up the pitch. So Hartley Paul can get an equaliser. The ball's coming in from the left. What can Hartley Paul do here? Any minute now. Here 
Here it comes, corner comes in. Oh, headed out too easy. Can hardly pull get it back in. Oh, hardly pull. I've got the ball, but they've got to apply some pressure. Hawkins. In comes the ball. Nobody there. Still nobody there. And that is scrambled away by Barrow. I mean, Luke James forward for Barrow. And Artie Paul will lose it on the halfway line. Adams not able to control and it goes out for a throw into Barrow. I really don't know what the caretaker manager can say really if Hartlepool started well, gave us gave a goal away. Uh, it just seems to be the story of their season. Well, I like Pullock coming forward. Got to be more clinical now. Try to find some space, get in them pockets. They're coming down the left side. And that all go out for a harmless throw in the confidence in that dressing room must be at an all time low their confidence must be shattered Lang tries to play a bowling it's poor Barrow are going to go back to their keeper and Arnold I would think will boot it up the pitch as we come up to the final few minutes of the first half that is now back to Loach kicks it out heads up one by Barrow bit of a scramble play oh could, could can Barrow now make it Oh, not with a ball like that, you won't. As he kicks it out to Fenderson, and that is going out for a throw in. Three minutes of injury time. That'll be for the injury to Scott Harrison, and of course to Luke James in the first half. Lang plays a long ball over the top. Oh, Barrow could have dealt with it better. But Arnold comes out. And it's a goal. And Hartlepool get an equaliser. And it's Newton with an equaliser for Hartlepool. There'll be a bit of relief there. How Arnold didn't, I thought Arnold had got hold of it. But somehow he went through him. Once again, there's a player down injured. <laughs> what is this? The curse of the goal scorer. Lang plays a massive long ball over the top to the right. Header on. Oh. There's a... Keeper should be grabbing that ball. Oh, keeper. And Newton just tucks it into the empty net. Sure does. Well, it is a good finish, but the keeper should have held that ball. So you've had two goals. You can always tell with this channel, I don't get many nil nil draws. It's been a good game. So we got one minute left of injury time. It's all square going into the break unless someone scores. And it's Barrow on the attack, maybe. Well, maybe not. And there'll be a goal kick to Hartlepool. Well, it might, there might be an argument that Hartlepool don't deserve that level of up. Give it the highly pool they started so brightly and somehow just lost the plot. But Hartley Paul, I've got to say, in the last what five minutes, really got on top of this game. 
And it was a good goal. A lovely ball played over the top by Lang. Yes, the keeper Arnold could have done better. But there was Newton to take the loose ball and tuck it away for the equaliser. And any minute it will be half time. And it could be a chance here for Barrow. Barrow, come in. And that is cleared. But it's still with Barrow. Ooh, that's a poor challenge on Hull. And Hawkins could be receiving a yellow card here from the referee the first of the night. Oh, that's a dreadful challenge. And that was McDonald. He took him out of the game. And that should be a yellow card. Well... Looks like he got away with the yellow card. Well, McDonald now can put a really decent ball in. On his left side. Good position. Plenty of plays in the box. The final action of the game. Will it be a goal for Barrow? Not with that ball, it won't. Clear down the pitch. Should be half-time. It is half-time 1-1. So this six-pointer... Which way is it going to go? I don't know. And let's just catch up with some results in the other leagues. Of course, in this league, Maidstone 1, Macclesfield Town 0 is half time. Let's see what other scores and fixtures we can find. We are checking this one from the BBC website when it loads up. Yeah, you've given us all the results. Why don't I just League One? Let's find the League One result. Walsall are playing tonight. Shrewsbury wants something, something. I just want a result. And it's half time Walsall nil Wigan Athletic three. As the table stands, Wigan four points behind Shrewsbury with three games in hand. Then it's Shrewsbury one point behind Blackburn Rovers. So pretty tight there. Ah, oh, so we look at the whole table in League One, might as well. And there in 12th is Gillingham on 49 and at the bottom it's the two Manchester Minnows Rochelle and Berry battling it out Berry look pretty much gone 10 points behind Oldham Athletic another Manchester club a level on North, level on points with Northampton Town but I've got a 13 Goal average better than Northampton on 12 minus to Northampton's 25 minus. And then it's everybody's favourite team, the MK Dons, in 22nd on 38. Anyway, I'll be back for the second half. Nearly ready for the second half. No changes have been made. So the game's finally balanced. Will we have a winner tonight? Hartley Paul just getting the equaliser just before the break. And of course, it was Luke James who got the opener for Barrow. Going to be important 45 minutes for both sides. A game neither can afford to lose. Is Grant Holt going to come on as player manager? Nearly ready to kick off. Here go Barrow to kick off this second half. 
And we're on the way. So big significant for both clubs in this relegation six point battler. There might be a few from Sully Hill Moors hoping for a Barrow win. And the ball is with Barrow on their left side. A long throw launched. There's no changes at half time. Still the same teams. Will Grant Holt come on for Barrow? And that's a bowl that will go into the stands. So for two bowls have been booted out the ground. And it's hardly pulled trying to kick by another massive hoof. Very scrappy long bowls being played. Here comes James. The bow player has to turn. Here come Barrow. It's a good ball, but he doesn't find his man, and that'll go out for a throw it for a goal kick. And why? I don't know why Loach the Hartley Paul keeper ran all the way to the corner flag. I think McComb has been Barrow's best player. Probably not the best player on the pitch. Something, something here for Hartley Paul. Nothing. And that's going to be a foul and a free kick to the Barrow. So, free kick to Barrow inside their own half. Coming down that right side. Needs a bit of support. Walters plays it. The hole to here goes Macoma for me the man of the moment and there'll be a goal kick to Hartley Paul United Hello, C E double P can burrow win. Well, there's still time, and to Ethan Bromley could be a goal if Hartley Paul, and it's not. Harry, it's 1 1. Ball now with Hartley Paul on that right side, Cassidy. Newton back to Cassidy and Sporetz making some a good challenge there. Oh, that was a good challenge indeed. The Watson slides. Under Harrison chopping him down like a tree. And of course, yeah, it's a free kick to Hartley Paul like it should be. Harrison puts the ball in. Ball back into long. Oh, what a goal from Hartley Paul from outside the area. Woo! Fair play. And hopefully the stream's not going to muck up on us. That was an absolute fabulous goal. There might have been a bit of hit of hope. His first goal since 2016. But what a way to end the drought. Superb goal. What a... That's a long way out. What a strike to the top right corner. i got to admit, is it hit and hope? I don't know. Tried his luck, but it's a good goal. Oh, what a goal. 
Fair play to the number two. Third season at the pool. Well done, Magna. Superb goal. Might have been a bit of a fluke, but Hartley Pornell 2 1 up. Hartley Paul started one down, but now they're 2 1 up, not in the relegation zone anymore. Now on 42 points, three points clear of. Ooh, good cost there for Waters and Walters. Luckily, didn't make contact, but it's back with Barrow now. And Barrow got it on the right side. I can't see what's happening. Come on, stream. That came to nothing, and it's now on the halfway line. Diara putting it out for a throw in. Oh, Magnus goal. What a goal. Must have been a good, what, 36 yards out? And he pinged it into the, the top right corner. So it's now Barrow on minus seven. They stay out of the relegation zone on goal difference. And there is no way Hartley Paul are going to score seven goals in this second half and beat Barrow 9-1. It can't happen. But if it does, then Barrow drop into the relegation zone. And that goes out of play on the right side. And McIntyre would have equalised against Maidstone. Not what I wanted to see. Come on, Maidstone. You can retake the lead. And the goal scorer there for Maxford was Danny Wicketar. Uh, what's on the wicked? So, so much up, so much up for staying on this relegation battle. Throw into the barrow. A long throw in from the left side. Headed on. Comes to nothing for Baron. Now it comes to Hartley. Will boot it up the pitch. That won't reach anybody. I'll just go back to Arnold. And Arnold will quickly throw it out to the right. And uh, the ball is going backwards for Barrow. That was a heavy touch. So was that. Header. Hartley pull it on the halfway line. And it's number two, Magna, the goal scorer of a sensational, sensational goal. Very unexpected from a man who's got his first goal since 2016. This is his third season at Hartley Pool. Ah, uh, it's such a goal. Takes one touch, then, then hits it and straight to the right corner. When it was a shot, fluke, a hit and hope, maybe, maybe, but still a sensational goal, fabulous goal from Magna. And maybe Arnold could have been a bit quicker. So he might be on blame for both goals. And the ball is out for throwing. To Hartley Paul. So for for being total despair for Hartley Paul now there's a bit of a light at the end of a very gloomy tunnel. They're not out of the mire by any means yet. Featherston plays it over. Well done, Diara. He, he, he stops it very quickly. And there's another long ball played by Barrow. Headed away. Still with Barrow on that left side. A good one, too. Loses his foot in. And that will be a throw in the Hartley pool. A 
and there's no change at the Banks Stadium. Bescott, Walsall nil, Wigan Athletic 3, 59 minutes played. Referee having chat with two players. Now Andy Penix wondering when well, he's got a good option there with Grant Holt, why not bring him on? Another throw in Hartley Pools halfway line. So lovely little box right on top of the um, terrace in. And here come Hartley Paul again, looking very, very good in this second half. And that's another throw in. Hartley Paul are showing more urgency. Really bringing it to Barrow. No, nope. Blair Adams is going to take it, I think. No, Harrison has come over to take this throw in over the right side. And Scott Harrison's going to go for that long throw. He sh he'll definitely be aiming for heads. The ball's thrown in long, head, nobody, nobody there. And can Barrow break? A layoff now going down that right side. Well, somehow, well, they don't. Bit, a bit dodgy from Hartley Paul, but they keep the ball. But he goes back to Barrow. No, one by Hartley Paul, but there's a Barrow player there. He'll pass it back to Arnold. Arnold played it back to him. And he's going to come down his right side. I say Barrow were expected to do quite well themselves. Playoffs last year, they've totally struggled this year to make any impact on the Vanderama League. With this result, they're level on points and could have a nasty surprise be playing in the National League North next year. And Barrow not playing very well in this second half. Still a and that's a bit scrappy head tennis. Another throw in to the Hartley pool. I think that's by a Hart Foundation sign. Advertisement hoarding, whatever you want to call it. Throw in taken. A long ball. I should have put a cross straight in. He's running through, trying to run through. Will he win a corner? Yes, he does. So, corner to Hartley pull more on top in this game. No. Harrison also up. Yeah. So, Michael Woods takes the corner to... Headed away, headed back in. Yeah, he's not going to have a go, is he? No, he's not. Here he comes in. Dealt with by Barrow, and Barrow boot the ball away. But he just keep just keeps coming back, and they can't get it out. Every time they kick it away, Hartley pull, retain it, and another shot pull on the right side. Ball comes in, headed away. I'll tell you, it's a good game, and we've had probably one of the goals of the season tonight. I don't care whether it was a hit, a hope, or a fluke. Could be a chance here, it's in the six-yard box. No, oh, that goes out for a throw-in. They certainly are, well, they're on top now, I pull looking for that third goal, looking the seal victory. As we come up to the hour mark, Harrison with the long throw is eventually. 
It's a long one again. Oh, and but still with Artie Boy. Harrison puts him back in again. Headed away by Barrow. And on the left should be a boot down the pitch. And that's going to find another Artie Paul player. But yeah. as we get past the hour mark, still with Hartley Paul. And that's a throw in. Whatever Barrow did right in that sec in that first half, you wouldn't you wouldn't have noticed. Well, is Grant Holt coming on? That's a good option for Andy Pennock. And I've got to say, with Andy Pennock subs, they're not always the most effective. Magnum. Well, he wants to get one play. Can he keep it in? No, he can't now, but you're throwing to Barrow. Right into their own half by the corner flag. Could be a dangerous area for Barrow if they lose it. It's long, and who's going to get there first? It comes to a Barrow, and it's going out for a Hartley Pool United throw in. And Magnum takes it quick. Nighty Paul playing some nice stuff. And that's going to go out. No, goal kick. Never a free kick. We'll give Hartley Paul a massive lift. They can see this result out. Hold on to the three points. Oh, and Loach booted up the pitch. I don't want to be past it back of their keeper in them areas. Horse on BT Sports, a 25 year anniversary of Italian soccer. First, of course, aired in 2002. 2002, 92. I don't know if you're listening, Woodland 37, and heard my mistake. I meant 92. Galazzo. Well, here comes the ball. It's in. Are oh, they going to score? We go. Oh, dodgy defending, and it goes out. That's going to be a goal kick. No corner. At the moment, Barrow are struggling to defend anything. You know, they've been absolutely pinned in their own half, and it's another. Corner going to come in. Could this be the third goal? Here comes the corner. I don't know if this is any significant. This is my third Barrow game I've done. And Barrow lost them two games to the FA Cup to Rochdale last year. 3-0 and to Lincoln City 2-0 in the Vanderama last year. More Vanderama action. Trend me away with the first is East Lynn, that'll be from 12 o'clock, and then it'll be League 2 for Luton Town v Barnet. Both teams need the three points for different reasons, Luton to go up and Barnet to stay up. Always Barnet will be playing on BT Sports next season. That's a long ball pumped up the field. McDonald now to take the throne for Barrow. Barrow really need to get a foothold into this game. They have been totally dominated. And here they are nine half. No, it looks like it won't be long before Barrow from Hartley Paul. I'm again in that. Oh, that's a dreadful ball. That'll be a throw in to the Barrow, which I think. Yeah, McDonald takes the throw ins for the Barrow, the Bluebirds. It's long. So Barrow have only won the three home games, and that's not good. There's one thing that does that can keep you up when you're in the mire is your home form, and if your home form ain't good. You can virtually t 
Taste Relegation. And that goes out for a throw in. And I think the bowl has no the bowl has not left the stadium. Good header away from Hartlepool. But it's Barrow now trying to do some attacking. A long ball needs to, or a cross needs to come in. And that's poor. And Hartlepool will come away with it very easily. Goes up to the left side. And that will go out for a throw in. I did say McCombie was Barrow's best player and probably the man of the match in the first half, but I haven't seen much of him in this half. I think you're looking at the likes of Harrison, Featherstone, Hawkins, Newberton, Cassidy, and Magny. Some players there calling for that man of the match now for Hartlepool. But as a whole, plays it into a very poor area and that should be dealt with. Booted up the pitch and that will go straight back to Barrow. Now can Barrow force Hartley pull back? They've got a throw in. Here comes Grant Holt. I know a lot about him. Played, played in the championship, played in League One, played in League Two. Scored a lot of goals for, for against Gillingham. Many indeed. And can Grant Hold turn things around for Barrow? Good ball. Magna back to Woods. Now Woods got in a good position. Oh, some good football from Hartley Pool. Some good passing. Good team play from the pool. And there were some lovely words said by I think one of the managers. <laughs> Substitution. And it's Grant Holt replacing Waterstone. Grant Holt started his career at Workerton. Of course, he's played for Sheffield Wednesday, Rochdale, Nottingham Forest, Blackpool and Low, Shrewsbury Town, back to Norwich, then to Wigan. He's been Villa, Huddersfield, Wolves on loan, Rochdale, Hibernian, Kings of Town, now at his third spell at Barrow. Could be another goal here. Oh, across the... Oh, clear by Malakani. Oh, that was lucky for Barrow. Should have been 3-1. How they didn't score. There was an open goal there. But nobody attacked the ball for Hartley Paul. That ball came in and Barrow luckily cleared just in time. We'll throw into the barrow just coming up to 69 minutes. Oats. Oh, Cassidy, that's weak. Didn't get a hold of that, and that just went out. Oof. 
Well, I think Man City will comfortably beat Everton. Well, we're down to the last 20 minutes. Can't see where Barrow are going to score. Well, the only hope they got is Grant Holt. But it does look more likely they're going to concede, this, concede that third. And Hartlepool will be picking up a clinical three points. And has Andy Pennick been the right choice for Barrow? Free kick to Hartlepool out on their right side. Long ball played straight into the box but headed away. And here, and here, cool, no chance, chance here for another shot. Nope, Magna not trying his luck. Featherston, back to Featherston. Is Featherston going to go for a shot? Oh, well, obviously not going to go for a shot. Just passes it back to the Barrow defender. That's a bit disappointing. As the ball is still with Hartlepool, but more in their own half now. All the way back to Loach. Loach boots it up the pitch. And that's headed back into their half. Another header. And that's headed out. Throw into the barrel. And barrel going to take it by the away technical area. It's taken long, but game comes to nothing. Now, could you not chance to hardly pull the brake? So, Andy Pennick's only win really has been against all the shots. He's still his only win. He can't really count all the results he had for Jenny. I'm starting to. I can't really remember any of his wins for um, Gillingham. Gillin um. And that'll be a free kick. But I've definitely lost it in midfield. They're not getting any possession in midfield. It's totally been dominated by midfield. But hardly Paul, sorry. And it's very hard to win the game when you haven't got... The engine going in the middle of the park, which Hartley Paul have. And it's Loach to take this free kick, the goalkeeper. I'm sure he's going to launch it in the six yard box. He tries to, and nobody can get to it. A few little headers, but McDonald has got it. Plays it out to his right. Ace hole pl chips in. Oh, he only finds a Hartley Paul player, but and that's a free kick to Hartley Paul to Barrow. Well, is Lang going to get a booking? Good, just it totally lost it and took the player instead. Well, what McDonald has to do is on the right side. Put the ball across to the left and just pray that somebody can head it in. Well, that's dreadful. What was that to turn? What was can he turn? He can and he puts it out for a goal kick at the Hartley pole. Oh. Maidstone 1, Macclesfield 2. Damn. I hate it when it happens. Two results virtually mirror each other. A total mirror of this result down at the Gallagher Stadium. Good save from Arnold there. Hartlepool nearly threatened the third, but Hartlepool, Woods, good shot from Woods. Uh, again, Arnold gives the ball away to Woods, Woods runs in, takes a shot, and there's Arnold to dive to his right and makes a fantastic save. 
to make up for his error. So corner to Hartley Pole. Can Hartley Pole make it 3 1? Ball comes in from Woods. And the referee sees an infringement and he blows his whistles and gives a free kick to Barrow. And it's a substitution now for Hartley Paul. Rodney is coming on for Hartley Paul. He was the hero. Saturday scoring the equaliser against High Flying Filed. And it's Hartley Paul on the attack, right, left side. Some Good play, good play. Ball comes in. It's going to be... Oh, goes across the face of goal. And Casti should have finished it. Seventy-seven minutes at the Bank Stadium. Bescott, it's Walsall nil. Wigan Athletic, three. So no change in the score there. Here come Hartley Paul. Long range shot coming up. Oh, go on. Have a shot. Uh, it goes out of the right. And uh, Newton. Can he get hold of it? He does now. Newton needs to put a cross in. He does. It's uh, not the best. And it's booted down the pitch. Can Hartley, can Barrow do something? He's still there, number 24. And James needs to get across in us. There was nobody there, I suppose. Back to James. Luke James puts the ball in. And that'll go straight to the arms of Loach. What's the result? Well, it's at the moment 2-1 to Hartley Paul. And down at the Gallagher Stadium, mates are beating, are losing to Maxwell 2-1. And in League 1, it's 3-0 to, to Wigan Athletic. Can Barrow just a draw, please? Well, you'll just have to hope Grant's Holt can cause some magic. Oates coming off, and it's Rodney, the hero, who got the equaliser at Fylde, coming on. Well, they can have a draw if Barrow score again, and no one else scores, then it's 2-2. But... It the result stands after 90 minutes. It's only cup results where there has to be a winner now. When it's a final, final, nearly at the final 10 minutes, it's going to be big for both clubs. One team needs to get a goal, and another team doesn't want to lose. It's quite an intriguing game. You know, the Van der Armour League deserves a lot more credit. Double change now for Barrow. What has, what has Pennant got? Well, I think Walters might be coming off. Yeah, Walters coming off. Jordan White coming on sign to Merxham. And it's Jones coming on for hmm. well McComer coming off. He was quality in the in the um, first half, and the second half has done absolutely nothing. Throwing a long throw from Barrow in the box, 
booted away. And could this be another goal for Hartlepool? Will we see? I don't know what is going on. And the answer is no. Hartlepool, Barra now with the ball. Now will be a throw in to the pool inside their own half on their right side. Just a few inches from the B in the main stand. Oh, come on, stream. Oh, it's Barrow on the attack. Need more urgency. Kingsley James plays it out to the left. Headed in. Booted out. Comes another cross. And they'll go out for a corner on the right side for the Barrow. A lot of nerves starting to jangle around Hawker Street. Here comes the corner. Nothing. And that will be a free kick to Hartley Paul. To the, to the dismazement of the Barrow supporters. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Mason United have equalised against Macclesfield Town. That will definitely... That will help Mason out and that will also help Dover out. Of course, Mason did beat Sutton Town as the ball is kicked long. Headed away. The one there on that right side, but luckily Barrow win the ball now, and that'll be a free kick. And it's still 3 0 at. The Bank Stadium in Bescott. And that will come to nothing. Barrow should get there first. They do. And that will be a throw in just by the corner flag. So a victory tonight for Hartlepool will be Matthew Bates' first victory as caretaker manager. But this game is far from over and that will go out for a throw in to Hartlepool. So it's the goal scorer, Magadan, with the throw in on the left side. Long throw taken, headed on, comes to nothing, but still with Hartlepool. And that's gone out for a throw in. Odd one. <laughs> Player down. For Hartlepool, it's Lewis Hawkins, the number 18. So it's going to be a bit of stoppage time for this. We could be a bit behind. But we are called to muck. I'm calling Lee down to the last five minutes. Ah, uh, just a bit of cramp. <sighs> a nice yawn there, but it has been a decent game. I'm just a bit tired. So it's going to be of injury time and the player has to walk all the way over to the other side of the pitch. 
And Barrow have that throw in. Well inside their own half. Should be a long throw in. Can Barrow get an equaliser? They have already drawn nine at home. So that'll be draw number ten. If I got that right. Well it's just Hawks coming on for Hawkins. They're making his fourth appearance. Boy up the road there on Stockton on Tees. So long throw taken by McDonald. Booted long now by Hartley Paul. That should, should reach the keeper. And Steve Arnold still looks a bit dodgy. So it could be four minute a four minute injury time three minutes Arnold's just gonna go direct now I'm gonna boot it all the way down to the danger zone uh, it's headed on could someone get there no headed away but it could be a chart Grant Holt now tries to put a box in should be a could be could be no it's not St still with Barrow Hits a player, another header. Ooh, still with Hartley, still with Barrow, but now Hartley Paul might have a chance to bring it away. Stretch at the back now, Barrow. Could this be a chance for Hartley Paul to get the third goal? Ball played in. He's got to show, and Rodney just misses. Oh, Rodney could have made it 3 1 there. Brilliant through ball, and there was Ronnie just wide of the post. Or is that a corner? No, nah, he's just wide of the post. Cool. Um, what a block by Lang to keep Hartley Pool's victory intact. As we are down to the dying minutes of this enthralling game here at the Hawk Street Barrow in Furnace. And here comes the corner. From the left. Headed out. Firm header. He's not going to shoot for goal, is he? Oh, it's a good ball play through. Oh, he should. Ooh. Close. Close, 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 but Barrow. Oh, they really got to attack Hartley Paul now. Maybe go out all attack. A point's better than nothing. And the Barrow fans, the few that have made the journey, are starting to leave. Make that early exit. Beat the massive crowds out of Hulk the Street. <laughs> Long throw by McDonald. Headed away. The danger not dealt with him yet. And Hartley Paul win. A free kick. And Kate James can't believe it. And the Andy Penix looking worried. Could you get a sec a second fire in? The last minute of a normal time, I'm going to go for three minutes, four minutes injury time. I've got to say, I say Matthew Pace has got the old poker face on, or is that the worried face? He just wants to hear that final whistle and three points in the bag. And the same, same as those Hartlepool fans who have, who have travelled from west yeah, from from east to west. Okay, will they be going back to the northeast with all three points? And here come. Oh. oh didn't find Hawks, and here come the Barrow. And McDonald's still going. The best player, probably, for Barrow in this second half. I can't really pick a man of the match for Hartley Paul. Hartley Paul, will they get their first win away from home since October? 
four minutes. I wasn't far, well, I did say three or four minutes, so pretty much I was spot on. It's all the way back to Loach. Loach. Well, oh, it's. Come on, mates, to make it 3 2. Get your third win in the row and help your fellow Kent clubs out. And James boots that over the bar. Over the bar. Of course, Luke James did score the first goal. And that's not his. No, he tries it on the half volley and gets nowhere. So join us on Saturday as we will be diving into more lower league action. For your international football, check out the JB Claret channel 1893. He'll be doing all the international, all the England international football. I'll stick with the lower league football. Could this be a chance for Barrow? Luke James, Kenny Turney, oh, he falls over. You ain't getting a free kick for that. That's going to be headed back. Oh, he's still with Artley Paul. Long way out. Good ball on the right. Oh, that's a very, very good deception. And that goes back, luckily, for... Barrow to their goalkeeper. Still a chance for Barrow, maybe, to get the all important equaliser. Probably the best they can hope for. Head on, this has been a decent game. I think I'm going to give the man of the match to Langley. He's made some crucial blocks, clear some crucial balls up the field. He's been solid in defence for Hartley Paul. So, Langley, you could be the man of the match. It's King T. Jones playing it back. Boom! High, high ball being played. And why does the stream have to stop there? Come on, stream. Really? I don't believe it. Come on, stream. And time for the stream to go down on us right at the death. Two minutes. And don't tell we're not going to get the stream back. I do apologise. Let's get rid of that. Not. Well, I don't think we're going to get the stream back. We are. A long throwing now for, for Barrow. Right down at the left side. Right, here it comes. Long throw. Oh, no, no. Come on. Get. Here it comes. And that goes straight to the arms of Loach. We're down to the last minute. Yes, we did lose the stream for a second there. But the game is all but up. At the moment, it's three points to the northeast. That's a long throw, and the stream's now stopping and starting. And the house has gone down with cramp. The stream just has to hold out for a few seconds, and it's another substitution for Hartley Paul. And Jacob Owen is coming on. He's come through the youth system at Hartley Pool United. And a few drinks now for the Hartley Pool players as Harrison looks like to have definitely be suffering badly from cramped. And we succeeded the four minutes of injury time, so there'll probably be another minute played. I don't think Harrison can continue. Oh, he's walking gingerly on that foot. Ow. Uh, he's not going to be able to carry on. He's walking slow. And it'll be the young lad, Owen, coming on.
So he comes Owen, the young lad coming on, the youngster, making his debut for Hartlepool United. So what's left? And there's some sportsmanship there from Barrow. So the ball with Loach. And Loach is going to kick this long up the pitch, one would think. And he does. And could this be a chance? Can Rodney get there? No, Arnold gets there further. Now Arnold needs to boot that bowlers. Oh, that's going to fall to a... Oh, lots of panic in that final third. And Barrow can't do nothing. Nobody, I think Hartley Paul should just boot it down the field. But Jones wins it back. Now here you go. Here we go. Oh, McDonald plays it in there, but it's headed out. Game over. A victory for Hartley Paul. Three points in the bag. Three points going back to the northeast. At the start of the at the start, they were one 0 down through a Luke James goal in the relegation zone, but two goals in quick succession on the side of half time gave Hartley Paul the point, and that goal from Magnan, wow, that was an incredible goal of me. Of course, it was Newton with the equaliser, but Manigan. Took one touch and from 35 yards out, hit it into the top corner. One of the goals of the season. I'm tired. Thank you very much for joining me for this Vanderama National League game. 2 1 to the pool. I'll say thank you very much and good night. I'll see you on Saturday.